Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmood.com and today I'm doing another edition of a what we eat in a week, seven healthy meal ideas. Basically, it'll be a cook with me video where I am taking you along with what we are making for a week of dinners. Day one, roasted chicken with Brussels sprouts and then some greens and salad dressing that I made. I rely on roasted chickens a lot, you guys know that. I just add a little coconut oil, garlic powder, salt, dried herbs like basil, one of my favorites to add to chicken, and pepper, and then I pop it in the oven and then I serve it with veggies. Now this meal does have more greens on the side than usual. A lot of times I'll do potatoes or something like that. I did my homemade kefir ranch, which I have a tutorial for here on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description box. But they almost ate an entire package of greens, so it's a win for the kids. Now, they don't like Brussels sprouts, so Luke and I just had those. I usually don't make them eat absolutely everything. As long as they're eating a couple things that we have from the meal, I'm good. We also did top it with the date lady sauce that I told you guys about in the last video. We're kind of obsessed with it, so it's going on a lot of things these days. Day two, potato soup. I did make broth from the chicken the day before, and then for the potato soup, I just added a whole bunch of potatoes and onions and garlic to the broth and allowed it to simmer. I had a little helper that wanted to cut with me. Now don't worry, he just used a butter knife for his potatoes, but it kept it busy for a really long time. I also did fry up some bacon as a topping for potato soup. It really does make it so much better. Day three, I decided to make a quiche with my homemade einkorn crust. It's the same one that I showed you in my einkorn apple pie video. I used that crust and then just filled it with some cheese and veggies and eggs and allowed it to bake in the oven. Now this is a recipe that if you have a larger family like me, you'll need to double. Thank you. 
before we did tomato soup and grilled cheese with homemade sourdough bread. Now, of course, I'm putting this footage in here, but the bread was actually made days before because with sourdough, you have to prepare about 48 hours in advance before you want to have your sourdough bread. For the tomato soup, I just cut up a bunch of tomatoes and onions and then just simmered it in some of my homemade bone broth. Day five, I used some leftover chicken to make chicken tacos. I used my sourdough tortilla recipe. Now this time I did use einkorn 100%. I, don't, I hadn't done that in my original recipe and it actually made the most stretchy dough I'd ever seen. I chopped up some onions and peppers and added some chicken and cilantro and salsa, made some really good tacos. Day six, 
tuna burgers. Now, I got this idea from a subscriber. I talked about how I had a whole bunch of tuna in our pantry because we were on a tuna salad kick and then my kids got sick of tuna salad and we hadn't touched it since. And someone said, why don't you make your crispy salmon burgers that you normally make, but with tuna? And so that is what I did. I added finely chopped onions, salt, egg, and then some coconut flour to bind it together a bit. And then served it with steamed carrots. Day seven, I did meatloaf. I like to add onions and peppers to my meatloaf, egg, and then I did half beef, half venison. That is what we're going to do with all of our ground meat until our deer is gone. I'll just do one pound of beef and one pound of venison. It really makes it to where nobody even notices that the meat is different at all. I'm not sure they would even complain the other way, but I figure I might as well. I used arrowroot powder to kind of bind it together. You could also use coconut flour. And then I got the idea to add some of my tomato soup because a lot of times you add ketchup to meatloaf and I still had just a little bit, like a bowl of tomato soup left. And so I thought that would be a good idea and it worked. And then I just served it with some green beans. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm trying to make these more regularly. They're a little bit of effort, but also kind of fun, and I'm going to be cooking anyway. So I might as well bring you along with me. Little Daniel update while we're here. Daniel is now four months old. I'll get you out, buddy. <laughs> Daniel. <gasps> Can you smile? He is four months old. He's doing really well. I haven't weighed him in a long time, but but he seems to be growing. He still sleeps with mama exclusively and goes in the wrap during the day and that is just fine by me. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.